Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk or cover something today that has been a common question I think for new developers when they're starting out is what is the difference between front end and back end? And I think this is such a common question because it can seem overwhelming with all the different technologies that are coming up and it's, it's almost like, well, where do I begin and how it's, there's so much different information coming at me at all angles and I wanna learn it all, but where, where do I start? And how do I know if I should start with front end or back end and what's right for me and um, kind of understanding, you know, what path to go down can seem so overwhelming when you're starting out. So I wanted to break down between a front end developer and a back end developer as well as a full stack developer and really what all three encompass. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. As always, please subscribe, ring the bell for more notifications and come say hi to me on Instagram and let me know what you think of my videos and what you want to see more of and I hope you guys enjoy. Before we start by defining what a front end and back end and as well full stack developer are, I wanted to kind of illustrate or point out how front end and back end development kind of coincide together and work together. So basically when you are a front end developer, you'll be working a lot with the browser and the browser is what the user sees and interacts with. Uh, the end user anyways, and the server is what the browser interacts with. So it kind of becomes a cycle and the server is where the backend developer comes into play. For front end, the front end technologies usually consist of things like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then any frameworks that kind of go along with JavaScript, such as React, Vue, Ember, um, what am I missing, Angular, those kind of frameworks that go really well with uh, JavaScript. And that's what a front-end developer does. They, in, they create things that can interact with the user, such as forms or um, different kind of drag and drops or anything that the user can see and interact with is what the front-end developer is responsible for. The front-end developer is also responsible for creating reusable UI components. And when I say UI, I mean user interface. And really what the components will consist of is different components that can be used on an ongoing basis. So things that are reusable. And that also means that the front-end developer is responsible for thinking ahead of time and planning ahead of time of how to code out these components to ensure that they are created in the best possible way so they can be reusable. So kind of thinking about how you cannot, you know, code something and then you have to code a different area just because you poorly coded one component, but really making so that they can be reusable in multiple areas of your project. The front end developer as well will have to declare how to communicate with the back end developer or with the databases. They, and this can include things like Ajax requests or if you're posting data or getting data, you have to be familiar with that as well. And that's kind of another area that kind of falls under front end development. Some companies keep it in back end, so it de depends on the company you're working for or the project that you're doing, but a lot of times it ends up being the front end developers job to work with APIs or communicate with databases. Backend development consists of things like PHP, Node.js, um, and databases in general. And the backend developer, as I mentioned, communicates with the server a lot. And this really involves um, authentication or order handling um, as well as automatic notifications. The backend developer as well will do things like data validation, data storage, and um, access to the data. They really work with databases a lot as well. So now that you know what a front-end developer is and a back-end developer, I'm guessing you can assume what a full-stack developer is, which really is a front-end and back-end developer all in one. However, it can seem overwhelming at first when you say, oh my gosh, like how can anyone know both front and back-end? There's already so many different technologies to learn in each one. And I think really you have to keep in mind that when it says full stack, it, it's emphasis on the stack. It doesn't mean you know every single technology out there. It's more so you know how to interact with the browser and also the server, you know how to interact with databases, but you also can um, you know make reusable components and work with the user interface and different things like that. Um, it is a lot to know and I think it's important that to note that it's not better to be a full stack developer versus a front or back end, it's just different. And I think, you know, there are two different paths to go down. You can really specialize in front end or back end and become very niche in that area. And that can make you really high in demand and people can automatically think of you when they need a project for a front end or a back end. But also too, if you are a full stack, there are advantages to that as well. You really understand what's going on under the hood, especially if you're working on a team and you can know how to develop the front and back end. I think that's really valuable asset as well. 
So I don't think there's one right or wrong way. It's more so what works for you. And I think over time, actually, you will eventually have at least a strong understanding, hopefully, of the one or the other that you don't do. Just because working on teams and projects, you should learn or have an understanding of what the others are doing, even if you don't fully know the syntax for it or how to kind of build it out, but just kind of understand what's going on under the hood is important as well. Another common question for beginners is, well, which should I learn first? Should I learn front end or back end to begin with? And I don't think there's a right or wrong answer to this. I, I think especially if you're someone who's visual or kind of likes to see what they are creating, I think front end is a great way to start out because you can kind of see what's going on with the browser. You can refresh the browser and see it update automatically and really have a good sense of what your code is doing. So I do think that starting out in front end is a a really good way to go but that's not to say that some people who maybe learn from you know data structures and tables and different things like that backend might be the way to start out as well and I think it's more so just understanding your learning style and kind of you know doing your research and playing around with both when you're beginning and then you can kind of make the decision from there I remember when I first started the to learn code um, and I, you know, people were talking about front and back end, and I was like, oh my goodness, this sounds amazing. I wanna do both. Like, I was so determined. I was like, I'm just gonna learn both, and I'm gonna learn both right now. And I was so determined and so eager to just get started that um, it actually is a deterrent if you think like that initially. Like, it sounds like, oh, this is great. I'm, I'm gonna do everything. But then once you start diving in and looking in all the technologies and different things to use, it can become so overwhelming because there's so much to it. and thinking, oh my gosh, I'm I'm gonna be a student forever, basically. Which, I mean, if you're a developer, you are a student forever, um, learning different things. But I think then I eventually realized, you know what, no, like let's t like put on the brakes, calm down, and learn one thing or put one foot before another, or else it's just gonna be too much. And so I started with front end. And I absolutely love front end. I love JavaScript, I love React, um, I love Vue. And I, I thought that was a really great way for me to start learning because I'm a very visual person. So seeing the changes that I was making on the screen or seeing how my components could be reused in other areas on my project really, really worked well for me. Then after I became really familiar with um, front end and JavaScript and React, I started dabbling more in Node.js and becoming familiar with that and Express and understanding kind of more how the server works and how to interact with the server. And that was really a big learning challenge for me as well, but it did not come until later on in my um, coding journey. It wasn't like the first few months even. And it was more so when I was forced to kind of in my projects, I was like, okay, I really need to, you know, use a database or interact with um, a database that I kind of was almost forced to learn the back end. And I'm really happy that happened because now, um, I really enjoy doing projects with Node.js as well. And so I think it kind of comes full circle. Even if you start out front end, you'll eventually have to do some back end and vice versa. But it, then also too, it comes to the question, do you want to be specialized or do you want to be more generalized? And what I mean by that is, do you want to be the person that someone thinks of when they need a front end project right away and they know you're an absolute expert in it and you'll get it done amazing? or same with the back end, or do you want to kind of be able to do both? And I mean, you can still be an expert doing both, but I think it's important to kind of have an idea of where you want your career to go um, when deciding what technology to use and to do front or back end or full stack. Another question that comes up a lot is, well, what, who gets paid the most? Is it front, back end, or full stack? And I don't think there's a solid answer to that because I think it really depends on the route you choose to go down. So if you wanna become this incredible, smart front end developer who you know people just think of right away to go to for the front end projects, then you can get paid a crazy amount of money for focusing in and zoning in on that one kind of technology or technology stack. And the same goes for backend. If you really specialize and focus in on that and people know that that's your specialty or your company um, you know, has you focus in on that, you can get paid a lot for either or. It doesn't really matter um, as far as what your title is, like, oh, I'm backend, oh, I'm frontend. It's more so your skill level within that um, front or backend technologies. So if you're extremely, extremely talented and specialized in backend or same with frontend, then of course you're gonna get paid more than someone who's a full stack but very generalized full stack. 
I really think it once again depends on the career you want to go down and the work and effort you put into learning these things and the knowledge and you know what you have to offer rather than the title. Thank you all for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any further questions, please leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, ring, make sure to ring the bell so you can come see more videos and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks guys.